Hello everyone, Silent here and welcome back to another Bug Rock of the Week episode. Today we're going to be taking a look at a whole bunch of different issues with beds in the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. There are a lot of ways that these things are kind of broken and some interesting mechanics with them as well. There's some bugs that allow you to not actually be able to set your spawn point so you, you know, summon back at world spawn, you can get spawned back at world height or you can get spawned at the bottom of the world and just instantly fall to your death. And there's a surprising number of ways to actually trap these beds and have you be in an infinite death loop. It's not really that reassuring, actually. I don't trust beds at all after recording this episode. But if you want to learn about all the beds, keep on watching. And if you haven't seen the previous episode of Bug Rock of the Week, that is where we take a lot of looks at all the different broken plants in the Bedrock Edition. There's a lot of bugs that can break your kelp and cactus and tree farms. So if you're not aware of those bugs, maybe go check out that episode. But without further ado, let's hop into this episode of Bug Rock of the Week. So in this episode, we're mostly going to be taking a look at how the beds can respawn you at the incorrect locations and a little bit of the mechanics having to do with beds as well. There's actually some interesting stuff here. And a lot of this is really, really easy to trap for infinite death loops. So uh, as you can see right here, we have a four beds, each in the cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. Whoops, I kind of want that one back over there. Thank you. So if we go ahead and sleep in any of these beds and actually sleep through the night with them and allow us to actually get kicked out of the bed, then we will always be kicked to the northwest block of the pillow. The pillow part of the bed is the only one that matters, and we can sleep in any of these, and we'll always be kicked to the northwest side, which is an interesting little mechanic. So keep that in mind when you're placing a bed. It's actually uh, pretty important to place it in an open area with no walls around it, because if you have just even a single pillar, to the northwest corner of it in a situation like this, you'll spawn back up, up at world height. And uh, yeah, welcome to infinite death loop or getting stuck in a desert with uh, no trees around. So this is where things get a little bit confusing. You don't always spawn on this northwest block right here. So what can happen is if you click on the bed during daytime, right and it just resets your spawn point as you can see in chat it said respawn point set you can actually click on that and wherever you're actually standing within about two blocks of this bed is where you will respawn so if we go and stand right here and click on this bed and then we just go step away and die real quick you will see that we respawn right here we can do that with this bed as well so you can actually have a custom respawn point next to your bed which is very convenient uh, if you go ahead and you like stand on top of the bed and then die then you respawn on top of the bed as well which is interesting so keep that in mind uh, however when you actually go ahead and sleep through the night again it is going to set your spawn back to this northwest corner there we go now that's night we can sleep on this one again and you can see that we will get kicked back to the northwest corner so interesting little mechanic maybe that's a bug I'm not entirely sure, but this can actually be abused and cause you to have infinite death loops. So we have a pretty innocent looking bed right here. We're just gonna go click on that, set our respawn point right here, and then we're just gonna go ahead and quickly die, and you'll see that we now spawn back at world height, just because there is a pillar above us. And that is, you know, of course, not very great. Now, it doesn't just do that for world height, because of course that's already an infinite death loop for trapping the bed. If you go ahead and just make a hole down to the bottom of the world as well, what you can do is have an infinite death loop that way as well. So we can go ahead and kill ourselves again, and then we'll just spawn, fall down this hole, die, and there you go. Welcome to infinite death loop. Now, this one only happens if you set a custom spawn point. So if you watch someone actually like you know set their spawn point you can dig down a hole right underneath where they were standing when they clicked on their bed and they will uh, just you know be in a world of trouble it's not very great uh lucky for me i have that and i can just change to creative real quick so it, yeah be aware of this in your world what you want to do is actually sleep through the night when you set your spawn and that is actually much more reliable in several different ways 
So if it wasn't clear, this one only really happens when you just click on the bed and not when you actually sleep through the night because that causes you to get a custom spawn point and then the game doesn't really care about that custom spawn point. It's just like, yeah, I'll just summon you midair or up at world height, you're fine. It's not like you're in survival or anything. So yeah, be aware of setting a custom spawn point, especially if you're playing with someone that's definitely trolly. Uh, it's much safer to actually sleep in the bed at night time, either sleep all the way through the night or just like hop in it and hop back out of it. And then you have a more reliable spawn point. So just because you set a safe spawn point doesn't mean that you're actually safe. So if you go ahead and you actually sleep through that and then you uh, respawn on that block. So let's go ahead and kill ourselves again real quick. So we're now spawned on that block. But now if someone comes through here and they just put a pillar going up to sky limit, uh, you will spawn back on top of that pillar for reasons unknown. But yeah, that's uh, that's not very good. So if you ever notice a giant sky pillar next to your bed, um, you should just immediately be suspicious of that because they're always suspicious. So beware, especially if it's made of obsidian. Yeah, you might want to be careful about that one as well. So let's see, can we also spawn down into a hole? I'm guessing that we probably can unless it puts us. No, it, it'll spawn us in a hole as well. Cool. So beware, no matter what you do, you're going to have a couple of issues. Now, if everything on the northwest block is actually obstructed, then it will move the spawn spot to the south a little bit. So south by one block, as you can see here. But the thing about this spawn spot, if there is a pillar going up to the top of the world or however tall, you'll still spawn up there, but you'll be immediately falling. So that's cool. That's even worse than just spawning on top of it. So what you need to do to get a safe one, if there is a pillar or if you're underground, is sleep again, get another spawn point set, another block south. I know this is all very confusing, but once you have that, you can safely die. And then, yeah, you won't spawn at the top of the world. This is extremely confusing, isn't it? It took a while to figure out all these mechanics. And hopefully I'm telling you guys everything in a coherent way. But wait, there's more. So if you go ahead and you just try to sleep on the ground and if there's any form of walls around your bed, then uh, you might have some issues. So as you can see right now, we're spawning back on top of our bed. But if we just go ahead and die again, you'll see that we will be above ground. This doesn't really just apply to underground. This applies to sleeping in really any structure. So pretty much just be aware of that. Uh, as you can see, we now have a space to all sides of our bed. It should be totally fine for it to actually allow us to respawn properly. As you can see, we're gonna get put to the Northwest block, of course, because that is North right there. But if we go ahead and die yet again, we're gonna be above ground again. Now, the real kicker with this one is if we go ahead and just like remove a few blocks so that, you know, there's no blocks to spawn on up there, we're, uh, we're still gonna fall down just because, welcome to bedrock, guys. I don't think there's really a way to win with these beds. So there's one more bug having to do with beds, and I've only been able to reproduce this with a white bed, meaning that not all beds are different, and these different colors of beds might have different strange bugs to them. I mean, that does not give me hope for Village and Pillage, where beds are going to get a lot more features added to them with, you know, villages and stuff. I don't trust that at all. So with this white bed, if we go ahead and click on this, uh, you can see that our respawn point got set but occasionally it won't get set. So we can click on this one, respawn point set. Uh, sometimes it does not happen. And when it doesn't happen, of course, you don't actually get summoned at your bed. Yeah, it's very strange. I do have some footage of this bug happening, so I'll throw that up on screen. Basically, you can click on the bed all you want and it will not set your spawn point, And that'll actually kick you back at world spawn. And that's not really the greatest, of course. So you really gotta watch out for the white beds because sometimes they just won't allow you to set your spawn point. Even if you click on them a million times, you will have some serious issues actually getting them to work. And that's with no blocks around them, no shenanigans, no underground, just like on the surface, in the middle of nowhere, still just not allowing you to set a proper spawn point. Now, if you actually go ahead and like sleep inside the bed, then it'll give you a proper spawn point, and I haven't had any issues with white beds in that regard.
And there's still one more small bug with beds having to do with destroying them. So if we go ahead and set our spawn point right here, we can then of course go ahead and die and that will, you know, put us back at this exact spot. But if we go ahead and we replace this bed with just a different one, we're still gonna spawn right here, of course. So normally when you destroy a bed, that removes all the player's respawn points for that bed, of course, and puts them back at world spawn. That is typical normal behavior. However, it doesn't do that on bedrock. What you can even do is do this, where you replace it with another bed facing an entirely different direction with the pillow in the same spot, and that will still allow you to respawn right here. Very interesting and probably shouldn't be like that because if you destroy the bed, that always destroys your spawn point. So there are a couple more bugs with beds that I was not able to reproduce. For instance, if you die in a different dimension like the end or the nether, uh, you might not respawn at your bed just because weirdness. But yeah, I was not able to reproduce that one for this video, but it is a thing that I have had happen to me. So be aware of that one as well. And hopefully you don't completely distrust beds after watching this video. They still partially work. Like they still, you know, skip the night sometimes and clear the weather. That's, that's useful, right? <laughs> anyway, that is going to do it for this episode of Bug Rock of the Week. Be sure to leave an upvote on all of the bug reports that are going to be linked down in the description of the video. And be sure to leave a comment on the bug reports as well with your platform, what device you're playing on. Uh, when you've seen these bugs, how you can reproduce them, any additional information you can put on the bug reports is seriously, seriously useful to the bug tracker moderators and the, you know, actual developers as well when it comes to fixing these bugs and getting these things actually nice and proper because we can all agree having nice beds in Minecraft is extremely important to the survival aspect. So thank you all very much for the support on the bug trackers uh, as always. Again, that is going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like on this video. Maybe share it with your friends so more people can learn about these issues. If you're new here, consider subscribing as well so you don't miss the next episode and all of the other great videos that I upload. But I'll see you all down in the comment section and in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. And then there was silence.